Hello everyone, I hope this video finds you doing well. Today we're going to be talking about the negative impacts of homelessness for youth. Youth homelessness is a growing problem in many parts of the world. And if you're kicked out or become homeless for whatever reason at a younger age, it can create other difficulties, such as the ability to find and maintain stable housing, strong mental health support, uh, involvement in the criminal justice system, education. Um, and good health care, things of this sort. And today I'm just going to go over some information with the negative impacts of homelessness for youth. So first off, we'll start with difficulty obtaining stable housing. Without the, the support of their family, these youth may struggle to find and maintain safe and stable housing. They may be forced to couch surf, stay in shelters, or even live on the streets. This lack of stability can make it difficult for them to focus on their education, maintain employment, and build a sense of security and safety. Without uh, stable, stable housing, it'll be difficult to do many things. There's no stability and you can't really build in, a, in any areas as strongly as you would if you did have stability. So uh, be, not having stable housing and being at a younger age without a long resume and a lot of skills for employment It'll make it even more difficult to maintain, to obtain that housing and maintain it. Lack of emotional support. Being kicked out of their home can be a traumatic experience and can lead to feelings of abad abandonment and isolation. These youth may have difficulty trusting others and building relationships, which can further exacerbate their struggles. They may also have difficulty processing their emotions and dealing with the trauma of being kicked out or being homeless for whatever reason. If you're homeless and you're out on your own, it's definitely going to bring a situation where you'll have less emotional support. And people that go through this, they have a tougher time um, trusting and dealing with that, that support that's needed because it's not there. Financial difficulties. Without the financial support of their family, these youth may struggle to meet their basic needs and may be a, at higher risk of poverty and homelessness. They may have difficulty affording food, clothing, and other necessities, which can make it even harder for them to get back on their feet. Uh, financial difficulties is a huge problem, whether you're a homeless youth or a homeless adult or any person. Um, if you have financial difficulties, these things will be harder to obtain. Um, a healthy eating habit, a healthy exercise, healthy uh, health care things of that sort. So financial difficulties is one of the things that um, homeless youth go through and experience that makes it even more harder to get on their feet. Difficulty in accessing education or employment without a stable home and also without uh, st financial stability, youth may have the difficulty staying in school or finding and keeping a job. They may be forced to change schools frequently, miss classes, or even drop out altogether. This can make it difficult for them to achieve their educational goals and prepare for the workforce. And this is very true because if you have a lack of um, stability for, for housing, you have lack of stability for, for financial gains, you have lack of stability for emotional support, it's going to make it very hard to stay focused in school. It's going to make it very hard. To, be, to look for a job or even go through the steps that you need to learn to, to get a good job, such as building a resume or any type of skills, depending on the field that you're most interested in. Just the lack of housing will create, make it even more difficult to do any of these things. Increased risk of mental health issues. The stress and trauma of being kicked out or being homeless for whatever reason can, can take a toll on a young person's mental, mental health and may lead to issues such as depression, anxiety, and post-traumatic stress disorder. These uh, youth have difficulty coping with their emotions and may turn to substance abuse or other negative behaviors as a form of self-medication. And this is very true because if you're going through such a tough time, you already don't have good stable housing. You don't have... a uh, good finance, a good financial support, or any of the other things, you're going to have, it's going to bring depression, it's going to make you stressed out, you're going to be dealing with a lot of stress. And that's what happens to people who 
are dealing with homelessness, but especially for youth, it's more difficult because the level of life experience that that person may have at a younger age. Increased risk of involvement in the criminal justice system. Without a stable home and support system, youth may be more likely to engage in criminal behavior and become involved with the criminal justice system. They may be at higher risk of getting involved in gangs, dealing drugs, or committing other crimes. And it goes hand in hand with poverty. If you're in poverty and you don't know how you're going to eat your next meal, you don't know where you're going to sleep, you don't know what you're going to do moving forward, you're living day by day, some people turn to drugs or other criminal activities to make an income or just to feel better as they go through the tough time. And it's uh, definitely a, a situation where you can end up with uh, end, in, end up in the criminal justice system. So uh, youth homelessness is a serious problem that can have long-term consequences for affected youth. It is important for society to address and prevent youth homelessness in order to provide a better future for these young people. This can be done by providing resources and support for families, increases, increasing access to affordable housing, and providing programs and services that help youth access education, employment, and mental health services. So I'll just go through some of uh, the data that uh, I have here. According to the National Coalition of Homelessness, it is estimated that there are 1.3 million homeless youth in the United States, and that number is on the rise. The majority of homeless youth are between the ages of 18 and 24, but many are also under the age of 18. Approximately 20% of homeless population are under the age of 18. Furthermore, homelessness, uh, homeless youth are at greater risk of mental health issues such as depression, depression, post-traumatic stress disorder. They also have a higher risk of involvement in the criminal justice system. It is important to note that these statistics may vary depending on location and population that is being surveyed. So it is very important to know that youth homelessness is a huge problem and it's on the rise. And if we can come together and uh, help, it can help to make it better moving forward into the future. It can help with our families by sticking closer together, helping our family members, or just lending a, a helping hand in any way that we can. I hope this uh, video is informative on the topic. If you like the information, go ahead and hit the like button. If you think this information can be valuable to someone else, go ahead and share. If there's something you think I left out or could have said or should have said or whatever the case may be, go ahead, leave a comment and don't forget to subscribe if you like the channel. All right, until next time.